Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Anibal Rodriguez, and welcome back to The Sit Down. The basic difference between an ordinary man and a warrior is that a warrior takes everything as a challenge, while the ordinary man takes everything as a blessing or a curse. Today, we have two modern day warriors ready to take on that challenge and compete for the Spar Star 125 Championship Belt and the State Championship Belt. On August 5th at the Commerce Casino, Spar Star Fight Night 55, these two men will be competing and only one hand will be raised for those belts. To my right, we have the current champ. He is the California State Flyweight Champ. He's the current Spar Star Flyweight Champ and the former two-time 599 Bantamweight Champ. Fighting out of Fight Factory in Palmdale, California with a seven and one record, we have Royce Butler. To my left, his opponent, ready to take it all away, the Slim Reaper, coming out of GTA and Canoga Park with a 3-1 record, we have Ray Sean Rowland. Gentlemen, welcome to the sit-down. Thank you. Of course. So I want to open up the questions today uh, to you, Ray Royce. Um, how do you plan on beating Ray Sean um, on August 5th? Um, just hard work, like training and all that, wherever the fight goes, if it's to the ground, striking, clinch, pushing the pace, being smart in there, being intelligent, and one step ahead of them. How do you feel about that, right? I um, mean, you know, honestly, I feel the same way, you know? Like, you know, just two Rams just co co uh, just collapsing to, you know, head to head, you know, and um, may the best man win, you know? Who's, who, who night will it be that night, you know? So. It's definitely going to be an exciting fight. I know I'm excited to see it. I've seen both of you guys fight before, and I can definitely tell it's going to be, a, like you said, two Rams facing off. So it's going to be an exciting fight. How do you plan on winning, Ray? Um, honestly, like, kind of like, you know, what he said, you know, just trying to be a step ahead that night, you know what I'm saying? Just trying to be the better man that night, you know, discipline, you know, and, um, you know, train hard, work hard, and just, you know, bring it, you know, just bring pressure. Royce, you're the current champ. Um, you're going to be defending the title and uh, you have a, a great amateur record and I know you're looking to, to get into the pros in the near future. Looking at your opponent, um, what do you think are some of his weaknesses that you plan on exposing on August 5th? Probably, uh, I know, uh, I see some holes in the striking, based overall, everybody has holes, but I feel like my holes are a little bit smaller than his holes. Uh, don't really have a plan what I'm doing, what I wanna do in there, I just get in there and I just go with the flow, to be honest with you. How do you feel about that, Ray? Um, I mean, I, I agree with him, um, but I mean, not on the striking part. But <laughs> <laughs> nah, but I, I definitely agree. You know, we all got room to improve. Um, I definitely think I'm the best striker in, in my, you know, in the division. Um, but you know, the, the beauty of it is we'll find out. You know, so. Yes, I spoke to you prior uh, to today, and I know you mentioned that you feel that your striking is uh, above and beyond uh, most of the fighters in the promotion, and you're coming in to prove that, right? So you're also right, we're only going to find out one way, and that's by challenging yourself uh, and fighting for that belt on August 5th at the Commerce Casino. Okay. Now, I know you've looked at some of um, Royce's fights. Uh, do you see any weaknesses that, that are in his game that uh, you plan on exploiting? Um, I'm, I, I don't, you know, Royce is a good fighter. You know, he's a, um, definitely a, 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 a step up for me. Um, all around guy, he can grapple, he can strike and everything. But um, I definitely see holes in, in, in his striking. Just like you, you know, kind of vice versa. It's crazy. It's vice versa. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, like his grappling's decent. You know, I fought one of the best grapplers though. So I mean, I'm not. And I've been grappling all this camp. That's all I've been working on. Like, but um, yeah, I definitely see a little couple holes with the striking. Hands drop a little bit, but you know, we'll see what's up. You know, it's been. A, you know, that was. I don't really go off the last fights because he's probably, you know, haven't been at his best yet, you know? So, we'll see. Well, the good thing about having tough opponents is that iron sharpens iron, and we'll see uh, whose holes are bigger or smaller, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, well, 
it's rare that you get to face off and look at your opponent prior to you know being in that cage where there's no talking, it's punching and kicking. Yeah. So today, uh, Royce, what would you like to ask uh, Ray Sean? I don't know, man. <laughs> I didn't even ask you that question. <laughs> That's a good one right there. Uh, I don't know. You want to add another question to the Sure. Um, what would you like to tell him? Tell him? Uh, I'm going to be 100%, coming ready. And, uh, you know, I feel like I'm at my best. I know uh, last fight had, like, some cardio issues or fatiguing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but we fixed that this camp. My first time at 125, so I fixed that, and I'm uh, gonna be ready to uh, blow the roof off the place. All right, um, Ray Sean, what would you like to ask Royce? Damn, I'm I wanted to like ask him. I wanted to ask him something when you <laughs> asked him, and he didn't have nothing to ask me. So I'm like, hmm, maybe I have something to ask. But that's a hard, that's a hard question. <laughs> I know. Um, no worries. We can go to the next one, and then we'll circle back. Okay. What do you want to tell him? Um, you know, I'm same thing, man. I'm 100% ready. This is the biggest fight of my career so far, you know. Um, and you know, I'm definitely gonna be ready. And we gonna bring it, man. You know, I respect you. I mean, I hope you got respect for me. If it really doesn't matter, but we, you know, we'll see each other next week. We'll be ready. So we're gonna circle back, give you some time to think about that question. You can ask uh, Rayshon anything. I got, I, I got some, I got, I got my question too. Okay. You want him to go first? Yeah, yeah, let him go first. Like, What's your question? How do you feel at 125? Like, I know you, your first fight was at 125 for the, um, the belts and shit. Like, how, how is that? Uh, this camp, I feel good. Like, I did at 145, mm -hmm. 140, or no, 135, mm -hmm. 145, when I did Muay Thai. Uh, I feel like everything is finally, I feel like the last fight was like the troubleshoot. Mm. That was my first time weight cutting, never cut for Muay Thai. Yeah. I was always walking around like 141 and I'll fight bigger dudes. Mm -hmm. So I feel like I should be back to myself when I, like I was at 135. Yeah. Do you have a question now? Would you like to ask Ray? Yeah, all right. I got, I got, yeah, I got one. Okay. How is it like dropping down at 125? I know he fought at 148 or lightweight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And one, then, yeah. Uh, most of fights are one. I know he's a bigger guy yeah. than most people I fought. Yeah. For sure, taller. Um, it's 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 good, man. Um, I feel I feel great. You know, this camp I've been feeling super good. Um, it's definitely, honestly though, to be real with you, man. Like I did it because it's for the titles, man. And I would love to share the cage with you, bro. Like, you know, they obviously gave me that. You know, they they asked me if I wanted that fight. I watched you. I've been watching you for a while. I'm not gonna lie. Um, and bro, I want the challenge, man. You're you're de you're a great fighter, bro, and um, I definitely want to share that cage and be able to showcase my skills and see where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? It's amateurs. I don't care about. I do care about winning. I don't like losing. I hate losing, but it doesn't matter. Win, lose, draw, whatever, bro. I want to be able to test myself. You know what I'm saying? And um, when I go pro, that's that's the plan for me to go 125. So the uh, coach was just my coach was put in my ear. Um, you might want to do that before you start, you know, planning, start to see how you feel. So, yeah, that's pretty much where okay. we are. Awesome, gentlemen. Well, I'm super excited to see both of you guys face off in that cage on August 5th. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you purchase your tickets on sspmma.com. If you're out of state, make sure to get the streaming app on the Spar Star YouTube channel. Gentlemen, thank you again for being here today, and we look forward to having you guys face off in that cage. See you guys next time.